pum pum pa da da dum pum pa dum pum Welcome back. Here we're going to have our boss fight against Ran. Let's go and do this. Uh, I have to say the non-spells for this fight are quite hard. Uh, mostly because it's easy to clip them. Compared to Flong in Embodiment of Scarlet Devil, there's really a huge step up here. Anyway, first non-spell is over and we get our first spell card. With Wizard Fox's Thoughts. No, just Wizard Fox Thoughts. This is one of the scariest attacks in the game, but it's actually one of the easiest ones. Just tiny dodge, the, only the shots which are aimed straight for you, and nothing else. This card is, is just made to scare you if you get uh, if you watch the stuff which is aimed away for you. So don't. Anyway, second non-spell is pretty much like the first, maybe a bit faster and, and more spread. It's basically streaming because there's quite a big aim component and with a few random shots. And our second spell card, 12 general gods. Uh, this attack is hard. They're genuinely hard. It's just very close dodging and with some aim bits. Here, I'm quite happy I managed to survive there. I'm actually getting, still getting better at this game, which is happy. Um, Non-spells are actually getting easier as time goes, because there's just more space to breathe. Strangely enough. Fox, Tanuki, Yorkai, Laser. This stuff is sort of aimed, actually very aimed, so you can misdirect it pretty easily. And the fact that I can aim too is nice. Don't run into the lasers. And you'll be fine. There! And she drops a bomb, and I get another extra life. Now we get a stupidly simple non-spell. I have no idea what, why this is here. This is completely aimed, so you can just dodge the shots when they're next to you. Nothing at all about this attack. Charming Siege from all sides. Many people hate this and find it too hard. I don't. I find it very fun. Uh, it tests your courage to go through small gaps and your knowledge of the bubble, bubble bullets uh, hitbox. And I just failed here. Just when I said this was easy, obviously. Anyway, let's move on. Now the non-spells start getting even harder. Uh, this this attack is actually very complicated. Some of the shots are aimed for you, some are aimed away from you. Uh, I just dodge it on the spot. Princess Tenko. Uh, she appears right on your hitbox, well, where you are, and shoots stuff at you. However, she... Ran herself doesn't have a hitbox, so it's actually very simple. Just move down when she appears, and then dodge on the sides. Obviously, if you don't move down, then you're going to have trouble. Anyway... Uh, same kind of non-spell. Just make the smallest movements possible. Ouch! Not sure what hit me there. Anyway, Ultimate Buddhist. This is a turnaround card. Uh, you've got to listen for the weird charging up noise and when it... Ah! Silly. And when you hear the noise, prepare to start turning like I did. Except I just went a bit too far this time. And I actually failed that card. Shameful, I tell you. Shameful. See? Simple. Anyway, anyway. 
now it's almost over. And BIM! Oh, another thing I forgot to say, which makes also this fight a bit easier than uh, Flan, well, for some people, is that it's uh, it has the same special properties as the fight with Yuyuko, is that after every attack, everything turns into uh, cherry points, which means you'll get lo lots of borders. So if you want to be cheap and use borders on everything, then please do. Uh, this attack is hard. And it also has aim components. I think, I think, ah! The butterflies are aimed pretty much straight at you. And yeah, it's our final non-spell already. Streaming. It's something you have to learn to change directions. It's like it's like Flong's last non-spell in in principle. Um, it plays very much like it, except a bit easier. <coughs> and here, Ran summons Chen to the rescue. Uh, Chen moves around. And you don't want her to crash into you, basically, while dodging lots of different shot types at the same time. Uh, this, this is a pretty easy attack. And um, watch me fail it miserably. I actually almost failed it miserably. Wow. Wow. Anyway, now it's our survival card. There's about one of these per, per extra stage. Uh, this is one of my favorite attacks of the series, even though I guess it's a bit on the easy side for a survival card. It really made a huge impression on me the first time I saw it. Yeah, because this was the first extra stage I beat too. And man, was that fun and impressive the first time. Uh, basically, you want to dodge the lanes of blue bullets one at a time. And never try dodging more than one at a time. And do that while following the weird circle thing. And it's actually quite simple. Only, well, wh when you get the rhythm, it's fine. And then the end comes and is very safe, very impressive, very scary. Not that hard, <coughs> but man, is it fun! Uh, you actually have much more space than it than seems to be the case. So don't be afraid of moving. And there, and now it's the final attack: descent of Izuna Gonga. This is another one of those attacks who change depending on the boss's HP. Here, uh, remember Flan's last attack basically got faster and faster with her HP decreasing. This attack adds layers every time you hit a certain threshold. Now she's adding bubble bullets. And I think, I'm actually not sure about this attack, but you can pretty much create a safe spot if you use the right combination of movements movements and are lucky enough. But since I, I don't really know how to do that, I'm just trying my best. Uh, it's, it's a damn fun attack. It doesn't get too dense most of the time, but be wary. I'm, I'm doing well. Stop moving, Ran. Yes! Great! Capture of Izanagongan. Happiness is the state in which I am right now. Well then, well then. Uh, that was our extra stage. Uh, quite happy with the way I played this. Uh, like I said, this is a good first extra stage for pretty much anyone. Uh, I didn't really showcase the need for resources here, but you have loads and loads. And uh, playing through this is still a huge amount of fun. The end of the survival card is just cool. Oh, and apparently we get the name of uh, Rand's master, which is Yukari. 
Well, I guess most of the people watching this actually already knew that. Aha. Anyway, here, here we have this more dialogue, more dialogue, more dialogue. Shiku, shiku, shiku. And I have some form of score. Uh, I don't care about entering my name. Uh, two deaths, two bombs, and eight cards captured. Yeah, that's a thing. No replay. And thanks for watching. Woo, what's that? Phantasm. That's right, we've unlocked second extra stage, which is, which is called Phantasm. See you next episode when we play this. Bye.